Hi everyone, Rod with Sterling Soap here, and we're just going to take a brief video today to talk about the difference between the two main lathering types, bowl lathering versus face lathering. And I know there's there's a couple of others, like you know, some people lather in their palms, some people use a scuttle, but for the majority of people, it's it's either bowl lather or face lather when they're talking about using a shaving brush and shaving soap. So uh, to start off with, let's go ahead and um, go down here and we'll turn the camera down and we'll show you a quick uh, quick method of bow lathering. Okay, so to start for this, we're going to begin with the bow lather. We're going to be using the Sterling Synthetic 2-Band Brush. It's our best-selling synthetic. It's actually our best-selling brush overall. It's just fantastic. We're going to be using our repurposed dog bowl slash travel bowl. Little nubs in here just really help whip the lather up, make it a, a really fast uh, process. And for soap, I've got a small jar of our detonate scent, which is based on uh, the spice bomb. So let's go ahead, get the brush wet, and load. So this is going to be true for just about any kind of brush. You'll see I'm not pressing down. All you need is light pressure. You know, let the tips do their job. They will bring plenty of soap up into the nether regions of the, the brush knot. There's no need to push down. And what happens if you continue to push down is you'll get bald spots on the center of your brush or the, especially with synthetics. The, uh, the nylon fibers will start to, uh, they'll start to bend and that, that's how you end up with that bald spots, you know, somewhere around the center of your brush. So I'm going to load for an extra 10 seconds just so I can pull a ton out of here. So I've got a good amount of soap in here. And I'm going to start with maybe half a teaspoon of water inside my bowl. And again, I'm not going to be pressing the brush down. There's no need. Let it do its work on its own. And you can see we're already getting some lather pulled out of the brush. You could shave with this, but I'm going to go ahead and add another half teaspoon or so of water into here. I'm going to press that down into the lather. It's really starting to billow up now. We've got quite a bit in there. Most of our big bubbles are completely gone. And again, you know, this right here, you could shave with it. Let's take it one step further. About another half teaspoon, uh, maybe a little more of water. Really see what it does. Sterling soaps are quite thirsty and they will take a lot of, la of water before the lather just really starts breaking down into a soupy mess. And I always encourage people, especially when they're first starting out with any soap, not just sterling soaps, you know, do some practice lathers. You know, try with a little water, try with a lot of water. You know, really see what the soap can do and ensure that you're getting the best out of it uh, later on when you're using it. So now when you, we see there, um, I could take it a little further because I do see a little, a few bubbles in there. But when we've got quite a bit of... Uh, of lather built up in this bowl. Plenty for a shave. It's thick goopy stuff. It's got a beautiful sheen to it. Let me go ahead and scoop this out. I mean that's that's absolutely beautiful though. And splat test. It's fantastic. It's almost like a meringue. So We'll go ahead and rinse this off and then we will take a quick break 
and we'll get set up for the face lather. Okay, so now that we've got the bowl lather out of the way, I'm going to switch to a different brush. Same soap. We still got the, uh, the Sterling Detonate soap on there. And I'm now going to be using, it's, uh, I've already got it preloaded. This is our, um, this is our high end, our super high density knots. The, uh, it's a two band finest badger. Um, and it's one of my favorite brushes for face lathering. Not, not only because it creates just a, a fantastic lather, but also because it's, it's so luxurious to use. It feels so fantastic. It's got a really good amount of backbone. Um, and it feels really soft on your face at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead, um, like I said, we've got the brush preloaded around 30 seconds like we did with the synthetic brush for the bowl lather. Um, I'm going to wet my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got a wet face. We're ready to start. So we've got complete coverage over our face. You can shave with this, but same with the bowl lather. Let's go ahead and add some water into the tips of the brush. And get that mixed in with the lather. You see it's starting to get a little bit of a sheen to it. It's getting a little bit more voluminous, but we can still go more. So I'm gonna add another half teaspoon of water just directly to the tips of the brush, let it soak down into it, paint it on, start working. And again, this is a stage that's perfectly uh, acceptable to shave with, but I always like to get as much water and as much hydration into my shave as possible, especially if you're a straight razor um, user. The more hydration you have in your lather, the better it's going to hold up, especially if you take you know more than a couple of minutes to shave. It's not going to be disappearing on your face as fast as long as you've got plenty of water. When I'm getting ready to shave, I always finish with paint brush strokes. So I've got complete coverage on my face. It's properly hydrated, as you can see. It's got a fantastic sheen. It's nice and thick, so it's going to provide plenty of slickness and glide as the razor comes across. It should help. Excuse me. It should help keep you from getting irritation through the shave. And I've still got more than enough left in my brush. If you're a two or three pass shaver, or if you even need touch ups, there's going to be more than enough just from a 30 second load. So rinse this off real quick and we'll be right back. So there you have it. There's the, the, the two main types of lathering that most people are going to do. As for the benefits of each, it's really going to be a personal experience. Some people find bowl lathering fascinating. They'd like to be able to see those, you know, pillowy mounds of, of lather and then go in and just paint that onto their face without having to sit there and actually build a lather on your face, which, you know, as you can see in the video, I mean, it can get a little messy sometimes. Uh, for face lathering, there's the exfoliation of having that brush going, you know, across your face for half a minute to a minute, and, but there's also, it's just kind of relaxing. It's, it's massaging your skin and it's really helping to prep it for the shave. Um, what you use is really just a matter of personal preference. Um, but if you have any questions at all about, about either of the techniques or if you'd like to see more, let us know in the comments below. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.